attracted me to architecture was the fact that when you finish a project, you actually leave something physical uh, in, in the world, uh, hopefully for the better, that people will experience and enjoy and maybe um, you know, get some good benefit out of and just be able to walk away and turn, look over your shoulder at something you helped build and create. It's, that's really the, the overriding reason I got into this business. You know, I think the biggest surprise I had once I, once I got into the architectural profession was how much there was to it. There are so many different skills required, so many different jobs in the profession, and I think that really opened up my eyes that there's, there's a good spot for me that wasn't the traditional designer. There are a lot of things that I, that I could offer primarily being a problem solver, and so many ways to do that. So that was a, it was a very pleasant surprise to me. One of the skills that uh, I didn't think about early on, but that I've really worked on during my career are communication skills. I've always taken a lot of pride in my writing abilities, which has really uh, helped me. But I had to really work on my verbal communication skills and presentations and public forums and whatnot. And um, so I think that's um, something I've, I've really uh, take pride in the fact that I've come a long way. I'm not, not good by any means, but I've come a long <laughs> way. There's obviously a lot of possibilities for who I might want to study under, uh, going back in, in history or even currently. But today I'd have to say Aero Saarinen. I've, I've always admired his work. And as it happens, just last week I was touring the Sydney Opera House, and it turns out that Saarinen was uh, on the selection panel for that architectural commission. He was late coming to that and missed seeing the, all of the entries. He just saw the finalist, but he insisted on seeing all 200 and some entries. And as soon as he saw what ultimately became the, the winning successful entry, he said, that's our design. So I thought I really admired that. Um, his, his foresight and his um, courage to say, we've got it, let's, let's don't uh, spend any more, waste any more time. You know, I've had, I've had a lot of experiences uh, in, in architecture from all different angles and sides. Um, but I think being a leader, in, in a leadership position in a company really made me focus on how important it is to put the right team together and not just to, not just to look at who's available or who has an interest in it, but really, you know, cut through that and say, who's the best, what is the best team for this particular project in this client? And, uh, you know, I think once you, once you get to that point, uh, you're, you're, you've reached this level of success that you probably wouldn't have had before if you just uh, kind of go with the flow. I was fortunate enough to uh, have a, a lot of involvement with CMAA, and I ended up being on their board for several years. And I think uh, being on a board of, a, of an organization that's that important to that industry really was kind of a wake-up call for me that uh, I really had to take some responsibility and really contribute to that profession and really think through some things and, and try to be, uh, to be very thoughtful and responsible and really try to help the profession grow. So that was, a, that was a, um, something I really didn't think about beforehand, but once I, once I was on that board, it made a big change in my career. I was fortunate to have two really, really good mentors in my early career. Both very much on a one-on-one -on -one basis from you know, their partners in a very small firm. It became hard to translate that in a large firm with a mentorship program. We had some, a lot of fits and starts at that. Um, the Emerging Leaders program that we initiated a few years ago was much more successful. Um, we really captured, I think, the, the energy and enthusiasm of our young professionals, uh, put them together in a way that Gave, gave them even more incentive to, to contribute to the firm, to feel like they were part of the firm, and to really see that they had a good future with the firm. It was a very, very uh, satisfying experience. Well, I'm, I'm uh, fairly new into my retirement years, but uh, <coughs> so, so far I've had a good time uh, spending more time with three of my favorite hobbies, photography, cycling, and, and golf, and I hope to keep doing that. Something else I've um, just engaged upon, um, back to my mentoring experience, Joining an organization called SCORE that uses people like me to, to mentor and counsel entrepreneurs and small businesses. So I'm really looking forward to, to getting involved in that. I um, also volunteer at our local elementary school, so uh, I'm helping out the fifth grade phys ed coach, and they, the kids call me Coach Bill. Mm -hmm.